the idea is with the viewer, more people will have access to the basics of the model to improve collaboration between all of the dis different disciplines inside the engineering community, which is, I guess, referred to democratization. Accessible to everyone, because we know dimensional management involves manufacturing, design, quality, and we want, you know, more and more people to be involved with the dimensional management process and the data that's produced by 3DCS. So what is in the 3DCS viewer? It can open up any 3DCS model, including compliant modeling, mechanical modelers, um, all of our new packages, DVM, MVM, VA. It has all of your animation capability you can gain access to all the inputs to the model, moves, tolerances, and measures, and you can load previously uh, produced results, your HST and HLM. One of the largest things in it is that if you have an AAO license, you have the ability to utilize AAO so that you can you know, analyze your results and modify tolerances and see the geometric effect and I'm gonna go through some of the uh, AAO capability when we get to it. So the viewer is just one more tool in our scalable solution. So you can see, you know, we have design variation modeler, DVM, mechanical variation modeler, MVM, variation analyst, and now we have the viewer. And you can see how, you know, the viewer encompasses all of our products. <clears throat> This is just to let you know that, uh, you know, the viewer is supported on all platforms, Creo, SolidWorks, NX, V5, 3D Experience, and our multi-kit. So 3DCS, you know, is both a PLM or file-based um, product. And so this is just, you know, giving you a view of how, um, you know, all of our data is stored at the assembly level of the product and we can, you know, pull from a file server, do our tolerance analysis, and, you know, we don't do anything with the child parts, we just pull them, but the day 3 dcs analysis goes back to the file server. <clears throat> Along with that, you know, when we're in V3DCS, we can, you know, produce our HTML, PowerPoint, any of our reports, which can also be saved on the file server. From the file server, anybody can pull those reports, pull them, put them, take them out, put them back in, generate, you know, reports, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and then anything that's in the file server, as far as the HST, HLM, we can pull the data directly from the server into the viewer, which you're going to see. So you'll see that, you know, this. This is the current process if you're using 3D ECS on a file server base. Um, oh. And then I'm going to jump over to this slide because then I'll be done. This is the same thing, only utilizing your PLM system. So 3D ECS works the same with um, a PLM system or a file server system. So with that, I'm going to jump over to uh, the software and then you'll see I have this mouse model. You can see from here we have very few icons. You have your animation icons, you have uh, load your previously run data, and you have geofactor analysis. From here I'm just going to build it and deviate it. So this is what you see from our basic demos. You can see we can show the variation graphically. We can separate it and we can animate it through its build process. So an outsider can see, you know, how was this product put together? And then you can uh, 
load data. So right now, right now there is no data in this model, but I can click this button here and say file load HSP. And I'm going to pull in some data. So now this was data that was previously run and I can build this. Click on the measurement and it will highlight where that measurement is. It will list all the contributors on from that measurement or I can click through one at a time and it can you know show you where these contributors are on the part. Those of you that are used to seeing me do presentations, I always like to separate the model because then when I click on the contributor, it's easier to see where those contributors are. But you have all the capability from here. Let me go ahead and build it and go into one of these measurements. <clears throat> you know, from here, you can zoom in on any of your measurements and say show max so it built it to the max position show min <laughs> you can go into any of your tolerances so this happens to be the four-way float for the top cover where it attaches to the base and if i you know right click on here and say visualize effect <clears throat> I can deviate just that tolerance and see the effect of just that tolerance. So you can do that for any of your tolerances. <clears throat> um, you know, from here, besides being able to click through all of your contributors, see your statistical results from the previous one, you can display your contributors per feature or per tolerance. So you can see how this list changes. You can see your geometric effect. And you know, with this model, you know, this is a key model because we know we're measuring a gap here, but this top button is attached with two holes back here. So this float has a very large geo factor. So you can start telling, you know, seeing how your tolerances, an outsider can use this to start interrogating his part tolerances or his um, you know, indexing features to understand if change should be made to improve this results. <clears throat>